hey guys so as you can tell by the title we're here to talk about the Too Faced Clover palette but it is not the genuine one it is indeed the fake one so first of all it's, this is gonna be like a really really quick video because I'm about to go out anyway so this is what it came in it also came in a mail bag and as usual I do ask the sellers to you know pack everything really really like securely in bubble wrap and they put it in this styrofoam it comes in this box and this is what it looks like on the back and it is quite cute and the front isn't it's not pixelated or anything but it's kind of it's not very bright I mean like obviously yeah it's, it's colorful but it's like the, the color print is not like bright and popping like how it was in the Instagram pictures that Too Faced actually promoted and especially at the back like all of these colors here they're just kind of dull and also it says sweet peach glow illuminating blushing and bronzing palette so that has nothing to do with the clover palette they've taken that blurb from the peach palette the sweet peach palette so here is what the palette itself looks like and I don't know if you can tell but where it says clover it's kind of raised but it's not raised properly it's just kind of it's like they've put like little round it doesn't even okay so they don't match the shapes of the letters so this c the actual raised part it doesn't actually make a c it's just like a round shape so it doesn't even fit the, the lettering and again on the back it talks about the sweet peach palette which has nothing to do with the clover palette now i don't know if the real one is going to if the back is going to look like this we the the clover palette isn't even out yet so this is quite like shocking just to advise you this was about how much it was about six dollars so it was five pounds something um on dh gate and as you know i can't leave any links because we can't promote fake palettes this video is just to educate you in case once this does come out if you decided to go on like dhgate or ali or ebay or any of those kinds of websites wish etc you'll know what to look out for if you do decide to purchase a palette now obviously one dead giveaway is like look at the state of the, the top part of the case it is just bent like i can bend it back because it all it is is this bit here is just a little bit and, and i can just bend it back and i will once this video is done but here is the inside of the palette as you can see it's like quite a big mirror and it also comes with this film here like a lot of these palettes do real and fake and here is the shades well here are the shades themselves and on camera they kind of look dull and in person they kind of look dull <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest with you I mean they look very similar to you know the genuine one well the pictures of the genuine one but I can tell straight away that it is really really dull and also this part here of the top is coming out it's like shoddily put together like i would have to take this off i'd have to take all of this off and re-glue it back because it's so like it could be due to the lid being bent as well but it's like it's popping out at the corners it's, it's crazy anyway what we're gonna do is swatch a couple of the colors because there are some shimmers and there are some mattes and of course I'm going to go for some of the brightest colors like the yellow and that is just so whack mm. whack and that one's called good boy and then the blue is called spoiled that's what it looks like it is just oh let's try another one let's try the green it's called lucky clover it's supposed to be like a shimmer kind of color like a minty shimmer and then another one which is like a matte which is called daddy's love me or daddy's heart me 
this palette is just so rubbish. It is so bad. It is so, so bad. Then another one called I Rough You. Which is like a silvery pinky kind of colour. And then the last one I'm going to do called Fur Baby. Oh my gosh. It's like a brownie kind of colour. It's very, very close to my skin tone. But it's also very, very chalky with a lot of fallout. I'm just not impressed at all. It really is just so bad. And it feels like one of those which were thrown together real quick. And I thought, and I feel like that is a, it's an honest thing to say because it was thrown together. Quick. The real palette's not even out. It's not even out. So where are they going with this? This, it's not even out. <laughs> it's crazy. So I don't know. I have no clue. Okay, I've just undone the the bend, and now there's like a little gap there. So I need to probably fix it a little bit. But that's just to show you that it does close now that I've fixed the bend metal Ugh, anyway I won't bother get this I really wouldn't I, I really wouldn't I mean I will try to make a look with it I'm not impressed with the swatches I'm not impressed at all whatsoever but I will definitely try to make some kind of look with it at some point this week so keep your eyes peeled for that so anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and to put me on notification and I'll see you in the next one